You know, that's a huge injustice right there. To lose your father. And have to put up with shit like that. Who knows, maybe I'm just a little over emotional about the cell phone. Coming back from Vietnam, like a lot of guys, I'm sure, let their hair grow, grew their, their hair out, kind of, had just for two years had to shave every day. So his hair was quite long, his beard was, well, like you'll see with mine, was quite large and kind of came out in this shape. The day I was born, he, he had a, he's a very symbolic guy, so he decided that he, his new child would somehow be inextricably linked with his beard or, or even be his beard. I, you know, I think I'm kind of in my dad's beard in a way because he shaved his face clean, came to visit my mom in the hospital and she didn't recognize him. That was the last time he shaved and it's been 33 years. There was a hard, hard period of years for my dad where he was working really hard and not getting much return. He calls, he calls them the lost years, actually. I remember asking him about it, and he said there's 20. I asked him about, you know, what was it like when we were growing up, and I was, I was 15 and 18 years old, and he, he was think, looking back at it, and he just said, I don't, I don't really remember those years. 20 years, he, he just worked, worked, and uh, I don't think he was very happy then. My dad is sort of spiraled into the beginnings of Alzheimer's. My mom has... My mom is... Well, she's sort of slipping in her own way. Mentally and physically. Mentally, I'm just d dopey. You are? Yes, completely. I have a very strange feeling all the time. What is it? Wobbly. I'm wobbly. In your brain or? No, my body. Oh, so physically? I, even lying in bed, I'm... <laughs> oh, no. What is that, Dad? I don't know. It's something very strange. This is good. This is like... Such an artifice. You know, everything you do is an artifice. Like putting down, putting words on a page and asking people to see images is a total artifice, but it's it's so standardized in our life, like we do it all the time when you write, you write somebody a note and that's that's what it is, right? Yeah. This is a different kind of artifice, like I'm so much more aware of this. I should be just as aware of writing something down, but not because everyone else does it. I would say, I mean, I just, I just finished a draft of a story that's roughly about Bonnie and Clyde, you know, in an oblique way. They were ambitious. Mm -hmm. And they're also famous the way movie stars are famous. They're famous partly because movie stars are famous. Mm -hmm. Right. I love Clyde Barrow. I mean... The idea that he can be out there and inspire people a hundred years later. Not to rob banks, but to be tough and be um, brash and not roll over to authority. I discovered I could edge a sketch like, I mean, like the wind blows in the Sierras in the winter, you know. I have a talent, man. I got a talent. <laughs> I've been slipping fast. Lately I could swear I'm thinking clearer. Ha! Congratulations, Mike Schwartz. Congratulations. Six months, motherfucker.
But I and I just remember, I remember wishing that. I was like, man, I wish I had arm hair. And Boy, when that shit came in, I probably went three years later going, man, I wish I didn't have so much fucking hair. I'm still wishing that to this day. It's like, God damn it. I'd give anything to give some of this hair back. You know, I probably talk too much and too frankly about, about things. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't know me without a beard. So I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna show up at her doorstep. But also, that's just kind of hard to hear. Nothing really, it was tangibly difficult, but... I had a lot on my mind, I guess. I, you know, and I guess I recognize that you're a good person to talk to, man. I just wanted to get it out. I asked him about his sex life. He said that it hasn't really been affected at all. I've also got two pair of scissors. Christian's got my white scissors and I've got a little tiny pair of scissors and I'm I'm gonna go two-handed and just fucking get in there and do it. It's because I'm back in school. I'm beat down by the process of having people who don't know a fucking thing about writing tell me what they think of mine. I love ping pong, man. Got a real thing for ping pong. <laughs> you know, and this is not even my father I'm talking about. Nobody thought it would, it would be important to tell me that my dog from childhood had died. <laughs> well, I do grow I, I do grow two to three hairs per follicle. My mom said she wouldn't take me out to dinner anymore because she was embarrassed. Was Shit, man, I'm shaving today. I don't want to. I'm just currently really over having the beard. You know, I'm over it. I don't want to. This is my one manly thing. I can grow a beard. I may not be able to bench press my own weight, but I can grow a beard. I don't chew or smoke or do real guy things. I don't have a motorcycle to drive around town, but I can grow a beard. It kicks ass. <laughs>